Here's the blueprint to increase your strength in a specific movement. First of all, you're going to want to do that movement two to three times per week. Then what you're going to want to do is do anywhere between three to 10 sets per week. I'd say on the lower side and you could always increase as time goes on. After that, you're going to want to stay below six reps. Anything higher can increase strength, but it won't directly only correlate to strength. Strength is really mainly trained below six reps, but you can still do it above. And finally, you're going to want to remain less than five reps away from failure. What that simply means is that as long as if you're slowing down a lot, and I'm going to talk about all these individually in a second here. So first of all, Training movements two to three times per week is the most efficient because usually movements require anywhere between 24 to 72 hours to recover. So getting it two to three times per week is ensuring that when you're optimally recovered, you do it. Again, I'd start at the lower end for all of these. Then you move on to sets. How many sets do you want per week? I'd start with three. Three is a pretty good place to start. Again, you can increase and there's definitely reasons to increase if you're not getting enough volume but starting at three is a good starting point then you're going to want to do anywhere between less than six reps right like we just said uh, again the reason for that is because strength is primarily below six reps that's where you're mostly training strength you can do more than that if you prefer that it's fully preference but specifically strength training is less than six reps that doesn't mean that eight won't get you strength it will get you strength it just proportionally will get you less than anywhere below six will then finally you're going to go ahead and do close to failure as in less than five reps before failure and there's easy ways to tell that without actually knowing what your failure is and going to failure every single time. A lot of people as beginners, they think, okay, I don't really know where failure is, so I just have to go to failure and then I can figure out kind of where five reps is from that. That's true, but a very easy and good landmark to aim for is for when reps start slowing down. So for example, when you're squatting and all of a sudden you go from a pretty easy squat to a fairly big sticking point where the movement really slows down in the middle you could tell okay i'm probably around five reps from failure maybe i'm a little bit less and that is a very good indicator in my opinion anyways hope you guys enjoyed leave a like if you did see you guys in the next one peace